Welcome to Civil Skills Academy. In this video, we will discuss how to create a pipe run and how to create a pipe run from objects such as line, polyline, 3D polyline, etc. And lastly, we will also discuss how to add, add a branch fitting between the two pipes connecting each other. So before starting, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe it to get all the updates from my channel. Now, without wasting any time, let's get started. To create a pipe run, first select your pressure network that you want to uh, create a pipe run for. And from the contextual tool, go to new add a new pipe run. Select create new pipe run, specify a name. Uh, for your pipe run make sure to use a proper name formatting template select the part list that you want to use and select the pipe size and once you are done specify a reference surface and cover that you want your run to follow Once done, click OK to uh, create a pipe run. Now, if you want to create a pipe run from at the end of the pipe, you can uh, just hover your mouse over the end point. As you can see, a glyph will appear. So if you want, you can simply click uh, to start a pipe run. Or if you want to add a pipe run in between, you, uh, you can simply turn off snap or snap yeah as you can see this uh, a glyph will appear if you want to add a run in between as you can see this glyph indicate two markers and this glyph indicate just a single marker so that's how you can identify so if you want to add uh, in between you can simply add select specify endpoint and if you want yeah once you're done press enter to create a pipe run now your pipe run has been created yeah. now a pipe run can also be added in the reverse direction as well let me show you uh, to create another pipe run press enter specify a name part list a size that you want to use and specify reference surface and cover once you're done press enter now as you can see a glyph will appear press enter press enter now once you uh, add it a pipe of a different size or at the intersection uh, a branch fitting will be added automatically as you can see if not you can also add it let me show you how to add a br branch fitting uh, from contextual tool select add branch fitting select the first pipe at the intersection and second pipe cannot add branch fitting select two intersection pipe runs in the same network so and try again yeah so i think this is uh, the another network so we'll have to create with the same network so we can then we can add a branch fitting let's try a new pipe run six inch okay now now as you can see a branch fitting has automatically been added now we will create a pipe run from an object now for that we will create a draw in a polyline just make sure the polyline intersects with the pressure network 
now we'll create a pipe run from okay now i get it so as you can see we are currently in the gas network so we need to change that simply select as you can see and now we are in the same network so that's why we the branch fitting was not added so make sure when you are adding a branch fitting both the pipe should be should belongs to the same network so previously we created this pipe run which was not in the pr1 group so that's why we we are not able to add a branch fitting so we'll create a pipe run from object select a polyline specify the direction and if you not click reverse okay specify pipe run a uh, part list and size that you want to use reference surface uh, alignment if you have specify the cover then once you're done click okay to create a pipe run as you can see pipe run has been created oops now we'll add a branch fitting so select a pipe run from contextual tool click add branch fitting select the first pipe and the second pipe at the intersection now a branch fitting has been added as you can see so to verify your uh, network pipe run you can go to your uh, pressure network in the prospector tab as you can see pipe run which i have added recently will appear so to select you can simply select network as you can see it will select all the pipes fittings appurtenances in the uh, network to get a 3d view you can use the object viewer yeah so so this is how you can create a pipe run from object and how you can add a branch fitting to your network so that's it for today's video i hope you understood if you like it make sure to hit that like and subscribe button we'll meet again with such similar videos so once again thank you for watching